Hey, I'm working on a 2007 Chevy Equinox. Um, as you can see, I've got the I've got the upper transmission cooler line disconnected from the radiator already. Um, it takes these little quick spring clips, and I just I just now got that one off. What you do, you just you take your picks, and I don't know, you might be able to see. There's a groove right here. Let's see. There's a groove right here that, that ring, that little clip sets in. And you just take some picks and you prize them. And uh, just be real careful because them things will go flying. Um, but once you get that, just you gotta pop them loose and it'll leak a little bit of fluid. Um, not too much though. Let's see. I mean, it looks. I've seen worse. <laughs> uh, it don't look awful. Um, and I'll replace just what it loses. Um, most of that's just draining out from the lines in the the radiator. And I'll just stick that line back up in there for now. But the clips I was talking about. Sorry, getting up <laughs> uh, right here. Um, and I just made a little mark, a B for the bottom clip and T for top, but it don't matter. They're interchangeable, but I'm very particular <laughs> about putting stuff back where exactly where it came from. <laughs> um, and the other side is right here. It is a, it's a little, just a little 10 millimeter uh, deep deep well socket to take that off from right here. Um, a lot of people I've I've seen other videos on YouTube and I've read that you have to take this mount off right here. Let me try to zoom out. I'm zoomed in. <laughs> um, but right up here, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, It's hard to see, but right, right there, you can see, there it is, that yellow is your dipstick uh, for the transmission, and that's where you fill the transmission fluid in. Uh, we bought this vehicle for like $1,500, I think, I, I don't really remember, but you, this is a non-serviceable GM transmission, it's the all-wheel drive model. Um, I'm not sure if the two-wheel drive or the front-wheel drive models are the same, but it's supposedly non-serviceable. I know you can pull the plug on it right, right over here. I'm just kind of pointing. I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, right here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but right here is the drain plug for the trans. Um... I think you can, I mean, you can pull the plug on it and drain, drain from, from right here. You can drain it, but it only drained probably four, maybe, maybe four and a half quarts. You're supposed to take it and they hook it up to a, a machine up on the lift and it's supposed to pump fluid through. Um, but other people say they take this transmission mount off and I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to get my hands up around it. Cause I, I don't, as you can see, I'm working off of ramps. <laughs> Uh, I don't have a garage or a lift or anything right now. Uh, I usually use the, the farm garage, but it's tied up. So you got to do what you got to do. Um, but I will continue in just a second, and I will update as I go. But like right here, I mean, you just, let's see. I'm going to take a little dead blow hammer and tap on this. That way I'm not, I mean, I got lines to replace. They just got a rusted spot on the, on the metal and just needed replacing. I mean, as you can see, it was leaking, leaking fluid. But, uh, there is the new lines. I, I got the actual AC Delcos from, um, AutoZone. And this is the type of fluid that I got. It's a Toyota fluid. A, it's the ATF 
T4 fluid. Um, it is for an AN. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in on it here. A I S I N. I don't know if you can see the tag down there. Um, it's like, oh, where am I? Oh, right there, right below that mark on that tag on the very bottom. Uh, that is the type of trans transaxle transmission that this vehicle has for the all wheel drive. It is an actual Toyota. Um, they make a lot of stuff for Toyota, um, but this is a Chevy Equinox, so kind of kind of new, kind of different. But um, I will. I'm gonna try to get this stuff. Uh, I, I'm. Gonna, I'll try to get that the new lines on. I got the new. I went on and bought new connectors while I was at it. Um. Just the GM quick, here we are, GM quick disconnect line, uh, fittings, um, but if I can get around not replacing them, I, I just think I'm going to roll with the old ones and and see. I just don't want to risk damaging the, the radiator where it's an older vehicle. I just worry about that, the, the plastic, you know. But I will continue the video in just a minute. Thanks. Something else. There is the the tip that goes onto the the uh, transaxle up here on the front. Um, it had these little rubber pieces on it. Well, I'm just gonna try to. I've got I've got this out loose, and so I don't lose a ton of fluid out of it uh, out of the transaxle. Um, even with the 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 front of the vehicle elevated. It was starting to seep a little bit of fluid out. Um, I'm going to jerk that off real quick and stick this up in there and see if I can't uh, get that on there. And I put the plugs from this end up here on these. That way, um, that end don't get contaminated with anything while I'm trying to get them lined up to where exactly they need to be um but i thought i would throw that in there as well hey y'all sorry i didn't get anything else done on the video outside um i ended up i had a rush through um i had my baby monitor out there trying to get everything done and my littlest woke up so I had to come in and and get her and she she helped me <laughs> finish everything up but uh um that little bit about the the little yellow plugs on the line I actually didn't go ahead with that I ended up taking those little yellow plugs back off um and when I pulled the old lines off the transmission I just stuck those up into the the holes for the lines that way it wouldn't lose a lot of fluid not a lot was coming out anyway but I didn't want to lose much so I went on and did that the one thing I wish I would have done though was go on and put the new lines down from the top um I think that would have made things a lot more easier than the way that I, I did do it. Um, but I, I did get everything back together and I did end up using the new connectors. Um, I just figured, you know, I got everything loose. I got everything off. I might as well go on and, and replace everything. So, uh, everything is back together. Um, I'm going to try to throw the pictures. Uh, there was, I mean, I know, you're supposed to run it after you do that and then check the dipstick but you know having to take i did have to take the transmission mount off there was no way for me to get my hands up there i use extensions and everything and i just thought you know i'm i'm causing myself more headache than it's worth so i went on and pulled that motor mount off that it was a trans motor mount with a dog bone um 
like rubber um, bushing in it. But it's it's four bolts all together. There's three, I think like two that goes to the trans and then one that goes to the, the engine. Um, and then you got the, the, the long bolt. I think it was like a 17 millimeter and the three on the trans was a 15 millimeter, I do believe. But I mean, they come out real easy. Um, no problem. And I just pushed straight up on that mount and turned it to the side and brought it straight down. I mean, just, just easy as could be. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I did replace the quick connects. Um, I figured I had them, might as well replace them. And I just put the old ones in the little boxes that the new ones come in, saved them. I'm horrible about saving stuff. I save everything. But those lines, they were just trashed. I got them out and I started, uh, I was wire brushing the, the metal part of the line, just trying to see how bad the hole was. And the line broke in half. It was completely rusted, complete, just all the way through, just complete rust all the way through um that's something i've noticed with this vehicle uh it has horrible problem with rust i mean i know i live in southwest virginia and during the winter and stuff you know there is salt on the roads but i mean nothing i don't think it should be that bad i ain't never had a vehicle rust that bad underneath uh the rear hubs when i did those a while back I broke four of the eight bolts partially due to rust and partially due to red Loctite. But, um, I mean, you can't beat it. It's an all wheel drive vehicle. We got it for dirt cheap. And the, the parts for that vehicle are very expensive, though. I don't know what is so expensive. I don't know if it's GM. I, I've owned mostly Dodge pickups. Um, my wife bought that from a coworker. I mean, it's been a great vehicle. It's been a very good vehicle. But there's just some stuff on it that I don't know. It just you you've got to do your regular maintenance and the the person that owned it before, they did great maintenance on it. Like it was every they got their old change every 3000 miles. It had every single service record from the day it rolled off the lot. It was a one owner before we had it. So I mean, it's been it has been an absolutely great vehicle. Um, it's all-wheel drive. goes great in the snow. It's got a pesky P0449 EVAP code. And I, you know, I've tested it, and I've replaced a, a purge vent solenoid underneath the vehicle. On the, It's a purge vent canister solenoid. I've replaced it, and I found that some of the wires were broken. I'm thinking maybe the wires are broke again. I just <laughs> stayed on dad with three kids. It's... It's hard to find the time uh, to to get that kind of stuff done. The the diagnostic stuff takes a lot of time, and uh, you, without a, a like a scanner that you're able to go in and do commands, it it's so much more time consuming going through and back probing all your stuff and. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can get one of my friends I used to work with at the dealership to, to throw a computer on it because <laughs> I'm about I'm about beat on that uh, diagnostic stuff for, for now. But um, if you have any questions about anything, just uh, throw them down in the comments and I'll try my best. And if it requires me to put up another... Um, another video explaining anything i mean i will do my best to get another video out explaining anything that you guys have a question about but uh but thanks for watching and hit that like button thanks have a good day